Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sherry Alicia. In today's video, we are doing a Sephora. Oh. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sherry Alicia. Today, today's video, I have no makeup on because my skin is looking immaculate, but your girl finally treated herself to Sephora. So, we will be unpacking this. I finally treated myself to a birthday gift. Um, I was joking with my, my roommates the other day and I was like, oh yeah, I bought myself an extra large. And they were like, but that's work. And I was like, yeah, but I really needed it for my channel. And I was like, but that's not a birthday gift. Like, you have to buy that. And I was like, okay, fine. So I was like, what am I gonna get? And I spent so much money in September and I was like, a girl really treated herself like the queen that she is, but like, what exactly did I get myself as a treat? Oh, I was gonna buy a, uh, um, a juicer. I want a juicer so bad. The funny thing, about, I have a story about the juicer. The juicer I got, I have. My ex-boyfriend bought it for me. Or maybe he bought it for us and I kept it. I don't know. Whatever. And it's in Florida. And like the last time that I was in Florida, I tried to find it. I didn't find it. I was bawling it. I was like, that was a lot of skin tape on me before we broke up. I'm gonna do skincare first. So the first thing that I got is this Peter Thomas Roth um, full size hydro gel eye patch party. This was $75. I'm gonna post a picture because I know this looks terrible. But there are 30 patches in each one. And so I got the Clinical Skincare 24 Gold Pure Luxury Lift and Firm. And then I have the Cucumber Detox, which are my personal favorites. And then I have also the Hydrate uh, Hyaluronic Cloud Eye Gel Patches. So there's 30 patches in each one. It's $75 for one, and it values at $182, which is such a great steal. The nice thing I love about getting products towards the end of the year is that you get such a steal. And these, this is, this, like if I use this for the next 90 days, I could use one every day. I wouldn't do that because eye patches are something that I, I like to do sparingly like once a week if I have them. And I already have some patches that I actually need to use. And I was, I had my eye on the Wonder Beauty one, but it was a six pack for $25. And I was like, well, for a whole $50 more, I get 65 more patches. It just seemed like a better deal. The Wonder Beauty ones are absolutely breathtakingly amazing. The Peter Thomas Roth. Um, four piece mask kit. So when I was showing my roommate this, I was kind of like, oh, I was kind of bummed because I get a whole full size situation over here, but these are not full size. So there, there's two of my favorite masks in here, which is the uh, papaya, the pumpkin enzyme mask. Um, it's a dermal resurface uh, exfoliator. I pardon the the dogs; they're always barking. But I like that it's like green. It's like the true green to really get off the nitty gritty of your skin. I just have a little tiny beefing that is super silly, but it's like, I don't like the size of this, but I have run out of like all of my favorite masks and these are the type of masks that I feel are gonna help my skin. I'm a huge fan of Peter Thomas Roth. I feel like they're, his products are worth every dime because he is a dermatologist and I think he spent a little bit more time developing products that are actually great for the anti-aging skin. I feel like Peter Thomas Roth is the type of brand that is, yes, the young can use use it, and even up to your 20s, but I feel like women that are in their 30s and 40s benefit more because it is about preserving the skin and getting that youthful, glowy skin and plump skin and healthy looking skin. And so I've just been a big fan. I'm a thought for Peter. <laughs> so the size is small. It's a 50 milliliter, 1.7 foot ounces. This is, this is the kind of mask that I wouldn't use but once a week. Um, and so they're, they're gonna last, you know. I've got the Irish More Mud. This was $58, which I think is a great deal. I got the Cucumber Gel Mask, and then I also have the 24 Gold Mask. I've never tried the 24 Gold Mask. I've tried this one, which is the Irish More Mud Mask, which I really like. I love the Cucumber one, especially if you're dry, especially in the winter time. And then this is my all-time favorite mask ever. It is worth it. When I went to Sephora, you couldn't tell me to stop getting a sample of it. I know, it was disgusting. You know, people probably put their hands on it. This is from Dr. Jart, which is another favorite of mine. This was six bucks. I have moments where my skin gets extremely dry, especially since I've upped the retinoid in my skin routine. 
I just feel like my skin requires a lot more hydration and I've been trying to dial it back on the oil because since that braids and sometimes I put oil in it, the, the oil comes down and my face just gets a little clogged so I constantly have to um, mask and just, I, I'm always on top of my skincare but I always have to do a little bit extra more to make sure that it's really well balanced and hydration is key. Okay. Shout out to my friend Leanne, she recommended this to me. This is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40, Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 40. This is water and sweat resistant and it lasts I guess 40 minutes or something? No, so you, after 40 minutes of swimming or sweating immensely after towel drying or at least within two hours. So that's the, um, that's the cutoff I guess. So I, I used to sell Super Goop all the time to people but I, I think I just bought into like, oh it's, you know, Allure's top favorite. I don't know if this is great but my friend recommended it to me and she never steers me the wrong way. I opened this because I wasn't sure if this is open. A lot of my packages weren't properly um sent to me like with, with with bubble wrap or anything like that i know probably for covid they were just like you know let's just send paper and i'm fine with that but some stuff just look kind of like wrangly and i don't like that <laughs> and so i finally got a sunscreen i'm gonna retire using this like beachy clear face neutrogena one it's fine it works it does 55 which i'm fine with but i just wanted something that had a clear because i think this is and that was the reason it was recommended to me is because it's clear i think that's why they call it insane let's see yeah it is it is i just don't remember like oh it's nice Ooh, is this oil free it smells like nothing i think this is oil free clean chemical sunscreen for all skin types natural finish oil okay it's oil free and non-comedogenic which is really nice it's reef safe, it's non irritating and synthetic fragrance, and it's vegan. Okay, so I see why it's on the top. It, it went into my skin really nice. There is a little bit of a sheen, but I'm okay with that. I got the Pharmacy Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer with Moringa and Papaya. I am trying my best to hurry up and go through my um, Marc Jacobs Youth Quake. It's the Hydra Full Retexturizing Gel Cream. I have I don't know I didn't love it but I didn't hate it either I just feel like I'm kind of in a rush to hurry up and use it it didn't I don't know I don't I, it might have a little bit too much oil in it I don't know just something about it I don't absolutely love I'm a huge fan of pharmacy and I feel like they don't usually steer me wrong their their cleansing balm is hands down the best cleansing balm I have ever used so I got this, this is $38, the sunscreen was $34 or something like that, and then <laughs> this is the moisturizer, right? I pray to baby, I shouldn't open this yet, I hope to break baby Jesus this works because I've been looking for a gel moisturizer, I'm going to give this a go, but truthfully, I should have just purchased what I know and love, which is my favorite, is the Sunday Rally, I'm going to post a picture right here. It's my favorite moisturizer ever. I am combination more on the oily side and that seems to be the best moisturizer I've ever used. It's ridiculous, but I think it's like 60 bucks, but it is worth every scoop, nut and crack. <laughs> no, it's not nut and crack, it's nut, nut and crack, no. Nook and cranny, every nook and cranny. I scooped that out, that was my favorite favorite moisturizer. I got it constantly when I was at Sephora and they, everyone knew I was like the biggest fan. If you came to the store and you were a combination on the oily side, I promise you I sold it to you instantly. Like, girl, I did well in sales and in skincare. But the Daily Greens Oil Free Gel Moisturizer has Moringa Papaya. I'm excited to try this to see if maybe it was a, if it's a dupe, but um, I'm not holding my breath. I do like that it's oil free, which is what really got my yeah. cleanser. I'm, I am sticking to this, this cleanser. This is the Belief Aqua Bomb Jelly Cleanser. Um, this is my favorite cleanser ever. This is the type of cleanser that I miss so much. If you watched my last empties, you know that I talked about this, how much I love this. I did say that this was coming in my Sephora package. I really hate that it came all broken like this. Not, I mean, presentation matters to me because I spent my hard working money on it. And then I was like, well, is it broken? And everything was looking fine. You know, the seal is still on it, but this is the kind of cleanser that lasts me probably a little bit more than six months. This is $28. And 
I think that this just works really well to balance my T-zone specifically. And my face just feels really clean. The current cleanser, how I hate that it That so is much. it for skincare. Let's jump into the makeup. I'm so freaking excited to talk about the things that I got. Okay, first, before I get into that, this cute little tiny ass nail polish I got for five bucks. I'm gonna put a picture of everything so it doesn't look crazy, but the Sephora collection nail collection has always been such a great thing for me. I love it. Um, I got this tiny little, hold on, it's the, oh my God, it's the cutest thing ever. It's so tiny. I don't know if you guys know, my favorite color is um, lavender. It's so bourgeois of me. Oh, this is pretty. Yeah, I love it. I can't wait to put these on my toes. I don't know if you guys can see that. That was one coat. But I wanted to try their Grip Set Refresh Spray. I got this in the mini because I was like, what if I hate it? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I love that it's blue. This is one of my favorite colors too. Like it's turquoise and green. I hope that this works because the primer was great. I think this was like 18 bucks or something like that. The primer is really great. I use it all the time. So it's a double dose to set makeup and refresh the skin. So I think what I'm going to do is try it one of these days with the primer. Right. Do my usual like signature makeup look, do the primer, and then use this and see if it all turns out really great. The Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage in the color SC and then the number 7. So this is another product that came kind of janky, but when I opened it up, the package was, you know, you know, hypo, whatever. It was clean. Brand new product, a very untouched, um, even had this little paper on it. I got this because I'm a huge fan of Hindash. Um, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please do. He is a professional. Let's start there. He is a professional at makeup and prepping the skin, teaching along the way, and he's like front and center of a makeup look, like an actual face. I wish that he did more brown skin girls, but that is for another video. He is this amazing makeup artist, and I like that he uses multiple, like he uses different products for, for all of, whatever look he's doing, you won't always catch him using it, but I noticed that he used this a lot, and I remember someone selling this to me, and I wonder, I, what I like about this is, I used to use, um, when, I, when I purchased this last, this was probably like four or five years ago, I was living in Florida, my skin was darker. And so I think I might have gotten the wrong one, but it's looking like, you know, I could use these two blend them. I could pick them up and like kind of create. I like this is customizable. And if I just want to cover up my dark spots, I can use this one. And then if I want to use this for both of them, you know, my face, I can use that. And then for the summertime, I can use this one. This is a really nice cream product that sets very well. And I used to love doing my eyebrows. I remember purchasing this and using it down to the pan. Like what, what did you do that at? I literally was obsessed. The Sephora experience is so different now that I, I'm sad about it, but <gasps> it's fucking fully cracked. I'm so sad. <laughs> this is pathetic. Ugh. Sephora, que lo que te pasa? It is very frustrating. I don't mind going to the store, but it's just like, you gotta get the proper like entrance. You gotta get the speech. We get it. With Corona serious, you want to protect us. I'm, I, that's very valid. But like, who wants to have to force themselves to go to the store to replace a product? So I got the Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder from Jouer. Um, I got the color Tan Bronze. I have been eyeing this powder. I'm gonna put a picture because obviously the product is broken. But I have been eyeing this powder for quite some time. It's been out for almost, I think, two years, maybe a little, give or take a year or two. And I've been wanting this powder for a while. And I remember a girl that I knew was gonna get this powder was telling me um, that I should get a color. I wasn't sure if it was medium or tan bronze, but I took a risk and got tan bronze. Tan bronze is a little light, I'm not gonna front. But when I go to the store, I might exchange it. I just will have to come in with my receipt and show them that. I'm gonna put this together because they're real picky over there. And just exchange it. I'm really excited to use that powder because I wanna retire using setting powder. I feel like as someone who's oily, sometimes setting powder just 
feels heavy and then the oil comes out and it's constantly a battle I get the process of using a setting powder to like set your whole face but I don't think I found my holy grail setting powder once upon a time I did but my makeup has evolved so much from not leaving the house that I'm just like who's putting on thick uh, makeup big influencers that have to constantly take pictures I totally get it but for your rendezvous girl like me I don't know sis I just I don't know. <laughs> You know what's so funny? This next product is the NARS Creamy Custard, excuse me, Radiant Creamy Concealer, right? I sold this concealer when I was at Sephora all the time. Anybody came out any concealer? This is the first thing I was selling to you. This is probably, in my mind, neck and neck with um, sh Shape Tape from Tarte. I think they are probably the top three concealers in the market. You're definitely getting your money's worth. I got the mini. It's my, my roommate was like, how much was that? It was like $13. I got it because I wasn't sure if caramel was gonna work. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, this might be a little light. She might be a little light. Oh no, actually, I kinda like her. Let's see. So I have been changing up my concealer to, I used to be obsessed with wanting to fill in the yellow that I see on my skin, but the best way for me to achieve that happens to be um, doing a neutral color that kind of goes towards pink, but not necessarily like all the way pink. And I actually like how creamy that is. My favorite concealer is the Fenty. And I know a lot of people don't like it and they're like, oh, Fenty's trying to compete with Nards. And it's like, no, Fenty actually created a really good product to the point that I'm actually empty. And I'm considering purchasing another one because I need to spend $10 to keep VIB. <laughs> The silliness right I really like that concealer I'm excited to try this I didn't want to get a full size in and hate it but for someone who was selling this product to customers to clients all the time you know I know that it was a good product a little bit went a long way and I think I'm gonna get my money's worth out of this whole situation. Sephora collection, always red. This is my top favorite red ever. And then I got the Indian Pink 91. My roommate has this and I tried it a couple times. The only thing is I think that they change the formula. They change the formulas on this all the time. I feel like they're always reworking this because this might be one of their top selling products. Always fucking hits. This is beautiful. This is gorgeous. Give it to us girl. Red. And then the next one is 91, Indian Pink. I love a bright pink. I have been nude forever and I'm excited to bring back, um, you know, colors to my lips because I have been such a basic bitch and it's like, girl, step it up. Don't be boring. It's still about to be 2021. Yeah, those colors are so pretty. Um, I'm kind of sad because they gave me Savage. So I'm gonna man, so I don't know what this is going to. Um, and then I got this, oh, I love Honeysuckle. So I got the Aren A E R I N Mediterranean Honeysuckle perfume. Look at these notes, guys. She is bourgeois. Gardenia Ratan. Amber Musk. A lilac path. I can't jasmine. Jasmine, a lilac musk, and gardenia are my like favorite scents. They're so bougie and sensual and sexy. And then there's Evening Rose, Iris Meadow, Water Lily Sun, Mediterranean Honeysuckle, Tangerine Vanilla, Hibiscus Palm, and Najia Blossom. I just, uh, I want to sound like a rich, luxurious mommy when I put this on and I know I will. I hope that I like it because she might be my Christmas gift. Okay, and then uh, for my points, I got the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel in the color Medium Brown. Right. And then uh, the next thing I got is the Lip Retreat Oil from Wander Beauty. This was 100 points. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, so I thought this was just going to be an oil. She's moisturized for sure. I don't hate it. But I thought it was going to be an actual oil. I kind of want to see what that looks like with um, a liner. That's curious. And then last but not least, I got the Cora. Your girl is skincare. Oh, I got the Cora Turmeric Brightening and Exfoliating Mask. It's a two-in-one. I'm really excited to um, try this because I don't think any of the masks I have are brightening 
I mean, technically the exfoliating one is, but um, I like Cora. Um, their products are really good, and that is it, guys. I'm so excited to try my new products and take this shit out of the box and get started on improving my skin and my makeup. So, I am the most excited, probably for my powder that I have weeks change but other than that guys thank you so much for watching my channel sign off in the comments if you've tried any, any of these products um let me know if there's something that you feel that i should try maybe i'll try to do a makeup look in the next video and um i'll see you next time don't forget to subscribe see you next time